you know, based off what we saw last night from Lamar Jackson, who looks like he's in route for his third MVP, Zcat and I started debating, like, mobile quarterbacks. Mobile quarterbacks. He might be the best we've ever seen as a mobile quarterback. And that's the topic of our Who Missed the Cut today. Four enter. Only three will survive the weekend. Who missed the cut? The four quarterbacks we have. Cam Newton, Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen. Woo. Let the games begin. I think it's my it's my week, right? To go yeah, first. Yeah, you got the All first. Right, you get so, to save the first person. So I think there's a couple on this list that we, we that will probably easily make the cut. But I think we got to start off with the fact Michael Vick. Oof. Michael Vick revolutionized that position. If you go back, Steve Young was probably yeah. the, the earlier edition of this. Randall more Cunningham. Bon Randall. Frank Targets and all of those. Like, but you got to Vick. Michael Vick, and it gave you a little bit of that feeling of, like, I've never seen this before, and I don't know what's about to happen, and that gets me excited. So my, my first in the into the ring of making the cut, Michael Vick. Plus, you talk about aura. You talk about being, like, the moment. Mike Vick was so many people's favorite player. He did it with the Falcons, which he's probably the most, probably the most legendary Falcon of all time. I'd have to ask a Falcon fan who they herald as that. I mean, Matt Ryan brought you to a Super Bowl. Julio Jones is in a lure, but like Mike Vick was was the guy an icon. He's like the uh, Allen Iverson almost of Hope, the NFL. He almost got. I mean, maybe he did, but to me, it felt like he almost got the Dion statue. In right, Atlanta. Right, right right there. He's right there. Right there with him. too, though. That's too, right. So it's a, a little bit more. Yeah. I do think the Mike Vick save is a smart one. It's a good one. Also, we can never forget Madden 07. Oh. He, <laughs> oh, yes. Mike Vick was the Bo Jackson of this era. Bo yeah. Jackson was Tech Bowl. Tech Mike Mobile. Vick was the most dominant player in Madden ever. Yeah. I think doing something we've never seen before matters. And yes, we have now seen it before. We're seeing it right now as we speak with Lamar Jackson week in, week out. But back when Mike Vick was in his prime, we didn't see that before. No. I think it's worth something. I'm okay with the first to do it being saved. Okay, so we're right. left with Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, and Cam Newton. These are the three mobile quarterbacks who are looking to make it to the weekend. Vick has already – he's done it. He's made it. Good. Okay, who gets the next save? Should we just open up the debate to the current quarterbacks right now? Like Lamar Jackson and, and Josh Allen, I feel like it's – the choice is clear now. Before the season, even as a Ravens fan, CCAT, you were on the side of Josh Allen. How have you changed since? I have changed tremendously. And yes, Lamar Jackson got more help over the offseason, and we're seeing the fruits of the Ravens organization labor, and the same thing in opposite for Josh Allen. He got less tools uh, in his tool belt right now. But Lamar Jackson, before last season, didn't make it to the AFC Championship game. He made it there. Josh Allen hasn't. I yep. think that matters. Yep. We talk about the athleticism, different styles of mobile quarterbacks. Josh Allen runs through you. Lamar Jackson runs around you before you knew what was happening. Lamar Jackson should be saved. He's on a top five trajectory right now in the NFL. Two MVPs, too. Like you, It's going to be the third. I yeah. mean, it, it, it'll have to be a minor miracle for him to not get. I mean, Mahomes will have to go 17-0. Right. That's going to – ooh, that's where it will get that, interesting. That, that's the only thing that I think that's wow, going to stop. I, I mean, we haven't seen the bye week yet yeah. from, from Baltimore, so we'll see what happens after the bye week. But there's all all, all indications of what – exactly what Seacat said. What they've put around him yeah. has made him better and allowed him to be more explosive. More it's efficient, too. More, more efficient, more explosive, and we're seeing you know something pretty spectacular. So I, I, I tend to agree. I think, I think Lamar's got to be saved. I had a feeling we would come down to this. Lamar Jackson saved. Mike Vick saved. I had a feeling it would come down to these two quarterbacks. They're often compared. Very, very similar play style with the recklessness, with the volatility. Josh Allen gets credit for being more of a passer. But it's Josh Allen, Cam Newton now, a guy that has an MVP and a Super Bowl appearance, but had a sharp decline. And we've yeah. watched it. That's what's going to hurt Cam Newton in this debate. He had a sharp – we've watched the end of his career happen, and it's over with. We don't know what's next for Josh Allen, but we assume he continues on the upward trajectory. How do we want to judge this then? I mean, I know there's no rules to who missed the cut. Are we projecting out for Josh Allen, or are we doing what we have with what he's done? I think with what he's done, and even with what he's done, maybe taking away a possible Super Bowl berth, AFC Championship berth, taking away all those possible things in the future, Josh Allen has had a multitude of better seasons than Cam Newton has had. Mm. 
Cam Newton's probably had one season that was better than anything Josh Allen's ever done. But everything after that, advantage Josh Allen, no? I, 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 again, I agree. This may be the first week where we're all kind of get agreeing on everything. Right. Yeah, it, it, I, it's, it's, it's hard for me to separate the decline and the ending of Cam as we evaluate this. Now, yeah, when it was good, it was good, but it ended very, very quickly, and it didn't end. What I would say, where he was on somebody's roster and you feared him. Right. Right, right now. You fear Josh Allen, even though he doesn't have a lot of the weapons around him, because he's multifaceted, because he's that big, and because he's not scared to do it. I think I think where I'm getting myself to as I walked in here and thought about it. Yeah. I think he I think he's the the, the favorite out of the remaining two. Yeah. Well, I, Theo was a Panthers fan yeah. during the Cam Newton era, the peaks and the valleys of it. How do you remember Cam Newton when you look back? Superman. Like. Cam was Superman. He was the hope. He was the dream. He literally was that Panthers team. You talk about how Josh Allen has no talent around him or weapons. People, go back and look at that 2015 roster for the Panthers. Yeah, Kelvin was, Benjamin was out. It, it was, was just Greg. Receiver. It was Greg. Ted Ginn Jr. Yeah. I mean, Ohio State guy. I know, I know you got love for Ohio, but, like, it was Cam Newton and a cast and crew of characters who – were like they would be lucky if they got a Pro Bowl in their future. You know what I'm saying? Like Cam carried that team one loss regular season. Was Olsen on that team? Greg Olsen was on that team. Greg that Olsen was a security was blanket. I think he receiver. missed a couple games. Number 89. Um, Steve not Smith. Steve Smith. Steve Smith was before that. Steve Smith. That was one of the curses of the Panthers. Is you you have Steve Smith and on his way out when his career was ending, in comes Cam Newton. Imagine if they both if their primes lined up. I thought they may have. Uh, Went across each other, but yeah, that's why. That's why I said again. I mean, I lived in Charlotte for for a while too, right? I mean, prior to him, but it is it's a marketplace that gets behind somebody. But he was special. But I just don't think like to see Cat's point. Yeah, the quantity of years where it was special, I think, is the differentiator. Yeah, I mean, you take you take Josh Allen's first first you know first year and a half in the league out. His first First season were kind of a uh, hit and miss, but then he became an elite quarterback. He's there. He's there. Now, here's the one caveat with Josh Allen, right? Like, he's been very good in these regular seasons, put up some elite numbers, no MVPs, no Super Bowl appearances, no AFC title appearances. I'm just saying, yes, he's done better. Like, is it better to be elite in a short period of time or very, very good right up against it for a longer period of time. That's the, really the debate we're having right now, now because the you, peak of Newton was better than anything Josh Allen's done. And you can point to the reason why Josh Allen has not reached the peak that Cam Newton did. Yes. It's one name, and we're all familiar with it. Cam Newton never had to intersect with Patrick Mahomes. And gave, AFC, and, NFC. And, and, and those two quarterbacks gave us one of the most spectacular fourth quarters that we've ever seen in that epic. playoff game. A- epic. epic back and forth. So I, I I'm a, I'm on the side of of Josh Allen because I think year. I think I think the trajectory of future years and being this consistent and potentially having a breakthrough, I I I'm in the hat for I'm, I'm Cam, with Josh, Josh Allen. Allen. Cam, Cam threw for four thousand yards in his rookie season. He had he before C J Stroud came along. He had one of the most prolific rookie seasons for a quarterback of all time. But shouldn't he have gotten better? Isn't that what happens? Yeah. You shouldn't have your best on your first impression when everyone has a lack of film on you? Well, his best was the MVP year like five years later. I'm just saying, riddled by injuries on the back end. I will agree with well, you hold on, No, hold on. The name of the show is what? <laughs> Theoretically speaking, <laughs> yeah, it so is. I, but we kind of come to a consensus I know, here. but you're voting. No, we don't. You can drop that birdie putt <laughs> I, in to make the cut. I, you have that You have that uh, authority in here. I mean, the production. He started a movement. He had everybody dabbing. Yes. <laughs> what Josh Allen got us doing? Fair enough. But I, I, here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. In fairness, because I am biased, I do believe it would be Cam Newton. But since there's two votes for Josh Allen, I believe in the democracy of, theoretically speaking, I hate to do this. My heart hurts right now, but Cam Newton. It's not bad to be fourth. You missed the cut, dog. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's, this is not good. It's beyond hard to watch. Okay, how about this? If Cam Newton su- succeeds... Stephen A. Smith and becomes the next great <laughs> first take ESPN personality. Can he then pass Com- up Josh Allen's Completely changed my mindset. <laughs> yes. <laughs>